What's up everyone, Phil Nicoletti, 23 years old. We're out here at Denver and uh, getting ready for Moto One. Uh, freestyle was awesome, you know, I qualified 20th, it wasn't that great, so we're doing some suspension stuff, so just trying to feel some things out. And then uh, first moto, I started out by the box, and uh, you know, my 1110 bike's got some horsepower, so we ripped a pretty decent start, and I was about third coming around the first corner, and you know, I passed into the lead, and uh, you know, the second corner or whatever, and you know, just led a lap, so it's uh, it kind of surreal, you know, being out in front of everyone, you know, it's uh, when you're mid-pack, all you hear is the bikes and everything, but out front you hear air horns and people going crazy, so it was a cool experience, and then uh, I crossed over the checkered flag for the first lap, and I was just uh, kind of taken back. I held my breath for the next five corners, and kind of went backwards a little bit, um, and then I regained myself midway through the moto, and unfortunately ran out of gas, so, you know, it's a uh, live and learn kind of a deal, and, uh, you know, move on to this weekend. I mean, the past to go on a factory bike, like, I've been there before, but, I mean, just because you're a factory rider doesn't mean your bike's as good as, you know, as what we have, you know? I mean, we put our budget into the bikes, which is pretty unbelievable. I mean, you know, we're not much about the show. I mean, in some ways it hurts for title sponsors and stuff, but they got to realize it's not about the show, it's about what runs out on the track. So, you know, my team busts their butt for the budget that we have, and, you know, we try and get it done with what we got. It was going good for the first 15 minutes or so. And Glad to get back into the action, but a tough break for the 7th. Inside line up there in the first corner, and, uh, Leaned her too far, slid out, and he caught the uh, brake pedal on a hay bale. We're in a flat black box fan, so it's, it's pretty unique. Um, you know, it's like going back to the amateur days. You know, I fitted out of a pickup truck my whole life, and I would sleep in the back of the pickup truck. So it's not much different. You know, it's uh, I mean, it's just unique. Uh, we get the job done for what it is, and as you can see, I mean, it's nothing too special. Anyone can go out and do something like this, and you know, we try and get the job done. We've proven we can run up front and our equipment's good and that's all that matters to me. 